So you complete your game making. Now you want to export your game for Android, but you are finding that tons of communication in Unreal Engine uh, official page. So in this video, I will show you that how you can simply make or export your game for Android. Okay. So before do that, we need must some needs that SDK, NDK, and JDK. Okay. Make sure we need that uh, folders or files. Uh, we if you don't have just download from my website i give you this website link this is made by coding mobility it's in myself so you can just directly go and download that android uh, sdk jdk and dk and yeah you find everything what you want for android uh exports i already set up my game for android as you can see the touch kind of like so i already make a video that how you can make kind of like this touch interface or input so just i also give the link in the description below you can check out so okay one is done now we need to go in our settings that project settings at the project settings we need to go in our maps and modes make sure your temp uh, default game modes are selected that which one you want one is done you need to go in packaging at the packaging you find that there's a give you some project uh, details so at here you need to always set that to always build uh, build that always then at the configuration development to shipping what is the development and what is the shipping the development is that your game already in development like it will be updated later so if you think that you want uh, your game is totally completed make now you want to export your game so just click on shipping okay once it's done you can set that fully rebuild if you want okay then just click on these advanced options and you find like this there's a give you that localization packaging you don't need to say anything just go at the compression sector then just click that only a cook only maps this one active then create the compress cook package what does this two thing do that it will be only cook your map which one only you need okay not the others that just think that in your pro uh, package there's a lots of map okay so unreal engine if you just disable this uh arrow what happened that uh, unreal engine compile the whole the maps that's why your package uh, game data or your obb data become very large and it's take lots of time so for skipping that time and fix your large game size just enable these two things one is done just go and support platform and just click on and tick this and just set for android and disable the whole thing okay so it will be not compiled for this those uh, platforms then go at target hardware and make sure that it's mobile and 3d and 2d one is done just go in your as uh, sdk android sdk okay so at the android sdk you could find like this at sdk ndk jdk okay and the ndk api level the api levels is your android versions or the you maybe know that android version is 4.4 like kitkat marshmallow 6.0 then nugget version 7.1.1 uh, okay and yeah there's are now available android 11 also okay so that is the api level of android that the 19 is the kitkat version okay so like the 4.4.4 the kitkat version is 9 api level okay so make sure you set always into one uh, 19 so it will be support your game will be support uh less or lower android versions okay so now as i say that you must need the sdk and ndk jdk so just download and once is the download complete just click on these three buttons and just pick your file where you save your sdk ndk and jdk just pick the files and save like this that sdk ndk and jdk one is done you need to go in your android so at the androids you can see there's a give you an error just click on configuration now maybe you can see that in your case it will be accept the sdk license they will be tell just click on accept sdk license and if you see that that you can't press it more anymore so it's mean that your sdk is now totally supported and real engine so now you don't feel any problem or find any problem okay then you need to uh, set your package name now make sure that your package name is unique what is the package name the package name give you uh, a in it's give your a uh, game a unique id that your android can we understand that yeah this is a specific game we need to open this one okay so make sure you um, make a unique package name kind of like that that i g i n d game e s games okay i don't think that i have like this package name there's a, any game available available so make sure your package name is unique one is done will be add this that apk game data instead of apk what is this thing do that your apk and your obb data instead of apk so user don't need to download your obb extra and then copy and again need to don't need to paste in that they are obb folder so it will be automatically do if you set it in inside of apk 
and at the installation location make sure that it's auto okay don't set it to internal then make sure that force to a small obb files and at here you can see that verifying updates and first updates okay you can disable if you want but i think it should be enable this okay so when it's done your 80 percent of work is done now you need to go at app bundle just make sure it is the abb files is active okay because some time of its need that's why so when it's done you can just comp uh, configuration the google play if you want if you're exporting your game for google play store so you must need that enable this thing okay now click on files then go at packaging android and you find that there's a give you lots of option that multi stc dxtc and etc2 android dxt and android ecq and astc make sure you export your game for multi so you don't know you what this what your user have like dxtc android or estc2 or astc android so just set it that multi so your package will be export for multi and your game will be support any of android okay so just click on this and just say do i want to save your game just click on save the folder and as you can see your export is now ready and it's now rock and roll so it will be after the building complete i will show you there how it's look okay guys so after the exporting complete you find like this that just if you just check your outputs okay so just if you check your outputs you find like this that last of command that package command is uh, complete that activity comp uh, command complete and there's a tons of you know compiled and outputs so when it's done you find like this a folder that android multi and you find like this they give you that abb files so just remove these things that you don't need this uninstall install plugins as you can see after then compressing this thing now our apk size is only with the obb with obb not only apk with obb you found like this that it is 3.5 mb uh, let's try this thing in our android and then see how it's work okay guys so as you can see now it's in my android i just get the file in my android now let's click on install as you can see our name is come now click on install and now it's installing in my case my mobile is android 9.9 android 9.1 and then that ram is 6 gb okay so then let's click on open and as you can see it's now asking to give the access or the folder then click on allow and as you can see the input is now working and as you can see the input is working i can go forward left right and yeah it's working 100 percent goodly like a pubg okay will be in others video will be improve this stuff so i just hope you like my video if you have a question you can comment in my comment box i must give you the reply thank you so much for watching guys love you all